and I was honestly thinking, where is this brand heading? Hello my lovelies and welcome back to another video. In case you're new to my channel, my name is Tamara. Hi! I actually... I wanted to film again in this background because you guys said how much you enjoyed it. So I think like at the moment I have a few different backgrounds around my house that I enjoy filming in and I want to kind of like switch it around. So I would appreciate if you guys let me know which one you enjoy the most. I think like I quite like filming in my living room, in like one part of my living room where you can see the dining room in the background as well. But when it's like fashion video or an unboxing video uh, it changes it changes it so like depends on my mood really but today's video is going to be a Chanel unboxing I don't think I've done one in a very long time if you don't count part of my Christmas gift I'm sure you've all seen what I got for Christmas video that I filmed and there was a Chanel flap that I've shown I really really love that bag and I actually quite enjoy like how my collection is growing I have to be very honest with you right from the beginning of this video it's a big bag okay but there's a lot yes you know like I think five items I have to show you today let's see long story short is that I'm gonna be very honest with you now I walked to Chanel with my boyfriend because actually my boyfriend was like listen I want to kind of show you the reason why we walked there but give me a second I was having lunch with Filippo in town and at one point he told me okay honestly your wallet looks horrible I don't like seeing it I don't think it's pretty whatever so I was like okay let's go back to our mess. That was the kind of background of the story, how we ended up in Chanel at, in the first place. My wallet is the blue... Have you guys seen it? Wait, I'll, I'll, I'll insert a clip of my wallet. I do love that wallet because it kind of like opens, it closes nicely. I got it after my wallet got stolen. My, I had a Chanel wallet before and I really need a wallet. Then I was searching like which color is kind of good for wallet. Obviously at Hermes there's so many different colors. I originally wanted like sort of a gold or like a whiskey color, whatever, cognac, you know, type of color, but ended up getting a turquoise. I don't know, really know why. What I can tell you is that this wallet I really like, but it didn't really hold up as much as I would have hoped maybe I should have gotten a black because like turquoise you know like when you handle something every single day you, it just gets kind of like tatty but to tell you the truth at the same time maybe I would have preferred it in black that same wallet I don't know anyway so initially we were gonna go check out a wallet I, I wanted to go to get a Kelly wallet but not the big one like a smaller one sort of like card holder size and then like the waiting time within the Hermes store inside was so big that I was like you know what we buy I'll go to Paris soon so it'll be much easier and yeah ended up going to Chanel at first we looked at like a few things and whatever you know and then we were like lost and get the ready to wear because like there were so many pieces that I was like what is this <sighs> there were some like really cute pieces honestly but I used to go in Chanel years ago looking at the collections and dreaming of being able to afford it all right like everything and I would get like a piece here and a piece there but now I walked in Chanel really wanting to buy something and I was like I cannot see anything I like because everything was so pink and so barbiecore <laughs> that many of you have asked me what is barbiecore but like literally like if you type in google barbiecore so many pictures will come out and you will understand and I was honestly thinking where is this brand heading however that did not stop me from leaving with like five items okay so I literally yeah have no words for myself but the point is that perhaps not always you walk in and you see everything you want but you can very easily find like some beautiful classic pieces which is what I always go to Chanel for so I think this item is gonna be first the smallest item <laughs> the smallest item that I got that clearly we kind of went for right it's very basic like I said but I'm kind of excited for it you know because new year new wallet let's do this I got a very very classic not to say basic black Chanel card holder so okay so it has two card slots at the back it has an opening here in the middle which for me is always very very useful I, I don't really ever have cash on me to be honest but I have like a few little things like um, that I need and then in here it can be like for your most used card or your ID or whatever and I quite like it's very compact it's gonna be smaller it's um, lamp skin as you can see quite smooth very very classic very basic I actually have a little drawer in my wardrobe which is like perfect for different small leather goods so I can kind of organize all the ones that I have and I'm gonna do that this week 
yes i just couldn't wait to do this unboxing because honestly this huge bag that i have next to me has been sitting in the corridor for like past few days then i was i'll, I'll actually talk to you about the order that i was going in as the lady was bringing things in i was looking at the sunglasses and i already have like one of my favorite favorite sunglasses are from chanel i'll insert the picture i really love those i bought them when i was at the airport flying to marrakesh for brian's 40th birthday and i do tend to like their sunglasses or actually i would say like love or hate them like definitely but i saw these and i wasn't really sure i was like mm, these kind of could be interesting right so i thought philip was gonna say they're horrible because they're a lot okay they're not very minimalistic i hate logo but i like them so front is this but side is very extra however it gives me sort of like a vintage vibe like if the whole look is very basic just very black and then these sunglasses i think it could be quite cool what do you guys think so on the side you'll see it's a very very prominent chanel logo with little tiny micro pearls or mini pearls i guess and i think it's quite a diva moment south of france maybe like all black outfit these sunglasses what do we think is it a mega yay or mega nay i'm very very open to hearing your opinions you guys know i would never get offended people have different opinions even my family often hates on the things that i get and that's absolutely absolutely fine so yeah i was saying that it's important to have variety of opinions around you also so that you can develop and like really know what you want like whenever someone tells me like oh my god I, I don't really think you should buy it and i still feel like i should buy it i know that i really want it you know what i mean like it's quite nice to have also like you know to have support on what you like etc is quite nice as well equally so right i think like the only time when the opinion you know it's like not a true opinion is when someone is like so passionate about it like if you buy something and people are like this is so disgusting it's awful like why would you get that color i used to have like friends that whenever i would get something it would be like oh uh, yeah i really like this but like you the color is like the worst you could pick or something like that and you just know like this is not a, a feedback it's clearly like jealousy or some sort of inner bigger issue right i don't know what you guys think about that i'm sure we've all had friends like that throughout life so so while we're still at sunglasses i don't know what's going on with camellias today while we're still at sunglasses filippo was like yes i like those sunglasses they're kind of okay a bit loud but maybe you should go for something more chic and then i ended up picking something really cool i mean look at this box that it arrives in okay these were very expensive not gonna lie so they come in this big box i don't know how to open it without gravity doing its thing so in here are the sunglasses and the back here is the chain the chain is like the black pearls i don't really tend to wear these chains that much but i think it's quite a cool piece however the sunglasses are so cool it's like one of my favorite shapes they're very sturdy and like you know and it's that kind of very cool very minimal style shape i actually think in 2023 i know we've already discussed the trends but let me just tell you 2023 will be the year of like more minimal we're going back to minimal we're like I think like this shelf will not be so colorful probably anymore. There's the tiny, can you see it? The tiny Chanel logo on the side, the black. And then there's the chain, right? The chain is like black beads and the Chanel logo, okay? That's it. I think it's cool, you know, if you want to wear a chain, but uh, each to their own, right? I really love these. I think they're completely different to the previous one that I've shown you, but you know anyway i started with like a smaller item and then going to bigger and bigger and bigger next up something that i've actually looked for in dubai okay so when we were in dubai i didn't really feel like shopping much i don't think i've shopped i actually like yeah that's it like i wasn't really in the, feeling the shopping mood but then i went to chanel i went to actually the shoe have what is it called the shoe department something like that shoe level shoe level that's it at the dubai mall and i really like the shoe level actually i love to look at the the shoes that i have there i find them like always very different this is where i got my i don't have them here but like chanel red and pink sandals and i was like mm, i'm not not sure i'll ever really wear them but ended up wearing them a lot especially with my red constants i love the combo in the summer really really cute really comfy and i never really saw those shoes anywhere else okay so i thoroughly enjoyed browsing around shoe level the prada shoes and the shoe level they were all like these crystallized sparkly things i honestly was yeah it was heavenly but i saw these shoes and i saw them and i was like okay i really want these shoes right <laughs> don't know what to tell you 
so I tried them, they didn't have my size. I tried a similar variation, they didn't have my size. I tried another one, they didn't have my size. So I was like, can you check if there's another Chanel that will have my size, like in the Emirates, small or whatever. And they checked and they said, yeah, there's your size in Abu Dhabi. And I was like, I'm literally not gonna travel one hour to Abu Dhabi. I don't even know how far Abu Dhabi is, but I was not gonna go there for a pair of shoes, you know? So yeah, they didn't offer to do like any transfers. I don't even know if they can do that. But eventually I was like, it's all right, bye. So then, <laughs> I came to Milan and while waiting for my stuff, I saw them on the shelf and I was like, let me just ask, maybe they'll have them. And they, they tend to be really sold out all the time. Every time I want to get them, they're like sold out, sold out, sold out, sold out. So I had to ask, right? Now I was really lucky, I guess. I was really, really lucky. I ended up finding them in half a size bigger than I usually get them in, but it was perfect. After I tried them on, I was like, yep, that's it. And I think this is like literally the shoe that will be the thing in 2023. You'll see. Mark my words, you'll see. And you already know I'm a fan of this because it's not my first pair either. Now the very, very classic beige Chanel. All good. Beige Chanel uh, ballerina with the black tip with the logo, okay? Now I have these currently in hot pink in black here. I also have them in white with the black back in England that I worn in like 2014 or 13. I don't really quite remember that well, but basically that's the gist. Just imagine the S with like beige classic pants and this knit all with um, black trousers, like totem style. This shoe, I love it. It makes your foot very like, look very narrow, very chic, elegant. And also they're so, so, so comfy. I know that not everybody loves a ballet flat, but I have to say that these kind of classic shoes, chic, classic, minimal is what I'm really looking forward to when it comes to spring. <sighs> I know that we have New York Fashion Week, coming obviously i'm not gonna wear this in minus 20 degrees right but as soon as it like it hits march this will be my shoe and i'm so excited for it oh now i realize i have some like really cute maxi dresses like my jill sander one that i have no idea where it is Mm. I love to wear that Jill Sander dress, like the kind of, I'll insert the picture as well, with like, usually I used to wear it with um, my hot pink ballerinas and like a Cray or a Nata Birkin, I mean. Okay, last thing that I'm gonna show you is really cool, I think, and I haven't seen it since I got it. Now, it's very, it's gonna make a lot of noise, which is annoying, I'm sorry, let's see if I can get rid of that. Okay, the paper is remote, I think. What I wanted to tell you is that I actually, I think I would say I collect Chanel Raidwell jackets. I have that I can see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven that I can see here. And then I have like few in England. I love them. I love collecting them. I think the classic jackets are like really, really something that is truly forever, right? And it doesn't matter which season, you can always wear them. I have it in white, in pink, in light blue, in another light pink, in like a red, black and white. It's like one of my favorites that I got. It's a vintage one from 2004 or 14 that I got in LA. Then I have a black classic, then a black and white from the cruise. Like I, I really love them, you know, it's something that I enjoy. And then when I shopped all of this, uh, my essay said, you know, like we have a small, like, you know how Chanel does those secret sales? I mean, I'm sure you've seen them all over YouTube. Like if like they kind of offer them to their customers, it's not like usually on display. I don't know, in some cities it is, in some cities it's not. And I've lived in like Milan, London and Paris to vouch for this. Like in London, you don't really get to see them in Paris, they were like out, and Milan, they're not out, okay? So she took out like several jackets and I was like this, like no, 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 yes, no, then yes, I tried on, I was like, yes, that's it. She was like shocked how fast the process was, but I'm very fast in making those decisions. And let's show it to you. Are you ready? It's a, okay, it's not a very minimal style. It's a light lilac tweed Chanel jacket with a lapel that has sort of like, I don't know if you can see it, but it's like sort of a logo on it. Can you tell? But minimalistic in a way. And then the buttons are gorgeous. I always, always judge the jacket by the buttons a lot. I love a good logo button in Chanel. I think that pretty much all of my jackets that I have are logo buttons. I just love a logo button, okay? And this color, you might be thinking like, what the hell? But I think this is going to be a very popular color in 2023. Like we're going away from the Barbie core, like I said, we're moving closer to the pastels and sort of like that, what do you call it? Mermaid vibe, didn't we discuss that? 
I mean gorgeous hanger as well and I really love that it's like not too long it's a little bit cropped it looks so good like so when I went to the shop I had like all black outfit on with this and it was really giving it was amazing I loved it loved it loved it loved it I think it's really nice so I decided to get it what do you guys think mine is size 38 I my jackets that they vary from 34 to 40 to be honest it depends on the fit and I also thought that this would be quite cute with my light purple Chanel bag they're basically similar or same color like same color to this so yeah i thought that would be quite a cute look anyway that is it for today's video now i'm gonna put all of this in my wardrobe and organize and i don't know i'm like really getting into this color remember i also got a kate purple skirt love it love it love it love it so yeah that's that for today let me know what was your favorite item i'm gonna go like retransfer my wallet and um yeah gonna get very excited thank you so much for watching this video in case you like videos like this or in case you're not subscribed it would mean the world to me if you would subscribe like i said in my previous video i know many of you do watch my videos but are uh, regularly but are not subscribed but maybe change that because it would help me understand that you also like these videos thank you for watching and i'll see you soon bye guys